Okay, it's getting to be a little bit late for me, but I'm in the mood for one more game. I'm 2-1 tonight, so I want to see if I can get 3-1. If I get a 2-2 win-loss record tonight, uh, it's going to keep me up at night and mess with my sleep. So wish me the best. This is fine. Uh, he's more than welcome to sack this. I've seen this really aggressive bishop trade in the beginnings with the cow opening. And what I've noticed is that the engine really doesn't like when you kind of kamikaze your bishop into your opponent's territory. So I already know that the engine's going to really like that move. Um, I don't really understand why players do that. All you're really just doing is a really early bishop trade and you're just not getting any value for your piece. So it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. I don't know. Also, I'm back at 665 ELO, which is, I think that's where we started the night off at. So I'm hoping we can get to 673. That'd be kind of cool. I'm just going to develop pieces here. So I think he's just going for a really early checkmate. I'm trying to think of what the big threat here is. Okay, I'm trying to think of what the worst he can do here is. I mean, this is open, this is open. I feel like I do need to actually take this attack a little bit more seriously instead of just continuing development. I kind of like adding pressure here with this knight. since it's defended. But it's not really defending the right squares. Develop anyway. I spent way too long on that move. Yeah, and so this is just checkmate. Ugh. Uh, so what's the play here? I could just leave some room yeah, this is bad. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this. Yeah, I guess what I was saying two moves ago about taking this attack seriously is coming to fruition now. Okay, I'm just going to probably lose here. I don't, I don't, I don't think there's any, any way I can win. I think the only thing I can do is just go here. So my, um, so my king can have an escape. Figured. I have a feeling he's going to blunder at some point. I kind of thought this game was lost about a turn or two ago, but I feel like he's gonna dig himself into a little bit of a hole here, so. I think if I just keep developing, I think I'll be okay, honestly. Okay, I need to get rid of this threat though, this is really bad.
So many ideas. Maybe I just take care of his bishop first. He's playing really aggressive. I'm playing really slow. I should probably talk less. Play a little bit more. Figured. That's the only move I have there. He can take it. He'll probably go. I mean, if he goes here, I'm just straight up going to recapture his queen. That'll be up a solid 10 points or something, 12 points. Yeah, I, I think that this move was kind of a waste of time for him. I'm willing to trade my knight for his bishop there. I think he's in a much worse position here. The question is, how am I going to get rid of his queen? I'll try this. His queen's in a really bad spot. He has pretty much no pieces to help his queen out. And he only has like basically one escape route. So I think I'm doing okay here. I think his best move honestly is just is just to go here. So we trade. Uh, no, even then I would just recapture with my pawn. Yeah, he's in a bit of a pickle. I think wherever he goes. Actually, this is probably, no, even then. Yeah, I think his queen is just gone. I, I think he overextended with his queen. Oh, really? Queen trade, huh? I guess my queen's in a little bit of a pickle there, too. I think this is still fine. I, I, I still think he can't get out. Because even if he moves here... I take, if he moves here, I take, moves here, I take, moves here, I take, moves here, I take. Yeah, so I think his queen is just done. Okay, why don't we talk about something while we wait for his move. Um, let's see, things I'm going to do. I need to work on the audio quality a little bit on these videos. As I'm watching them back, I'm realizing that I can hear my, my, my breathy voice talk. Oh, wow, that's a really good move from him. Um, yeah, really good move. I think he's just going to go here. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good move. He found a nice fork there. Yeah, that's that's a really good move. Oh really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> I'll be honest. This is one of the things that I love about playing at such a low elo, is that people give up really easy. Um, one of the things that 
one of the one of the things that uh, I've sort of concreted into my brain is to never give up. And even if I'm down a position and down pieces, I will just always try to play for a stalemate. I think he. I think he had a fine move here by just going here and then I really had nothing to recapture with besides the queen and then he would have just taken this and then he wasn't really down that much at this point. I mean five. I think he could have still done pretty well even in this position so I don't think he should have given up but let's watch the game review and see if we can figure out where things fell apart. So I played at 950 and he played at 750. 950 is definitely the highest game rating I've had tonight. Um, let's just jump to sort of his worst move. Yeah, so why was this a blunder? I think it just wasn't doing anything. It, it wasn't proactive enough. I think that's the main problem. I think he should have focused on just getting his queen out of here. Um, he was just too aggressive in my territory without having enough backup for his queen. I think that's where he fell apart. So this is a bad move for me. I wonder what the better move here would have been. Moving up. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I'm surprised that this is just a mistake and not a blunder. I feel like this should have been considered a blunder on my part. Yeah, I should have spotted this, just defending these squares. That makes sense. Good to know that that was a great move. I didn't think it was a great move, but nice to see that the engine thought so. Yeah, I thought he had a really good move with his bishop there, or uh, sorry, with his knight there, the fork. Yeah, he found a really good fork here. I thought that was really good on his part. Yeah, that was really good. I think the best move that I made, honestly, was not even this one right here. But this queen move right here. See, hmm, moving to G2, I'm trying to think about this. I guess my idea here, moving the queen to G4, was that I wanted to kind of minimize the space that he had to roam around sort of these nine squares here like i basically wanted to put his queen in like a little nine square jail cell here and i wanted to uh, have that additional pressure with my queen over here i can see why it would want the queen to move to g2 because then you can just capture and you have you know check but then i felt like his king could just go on a run and then even if I was to just capture these, I feel like this would have just been way too slow. I mean, that's one, two, three, four, four moves. And I didn't really feel like it was that beneficial. So I was pretty happy with this move, but I'm surprised the engine wasn't like thrilled with it. But that's okay, we won anyways. So let's do a recap of the night. We went three and one i believe or no we played one two three four five we went three and two not bad uh, we started the night at 665 and we ended at 673 
So that's a net positive. Pretty happy about that. Uh, pretty cool. Yeah, I'll definitely play some more games tomorrow. And uh, thanks for watching.